electrons are spin one half particles and photons are spin one particles. When we rotate a photon and an electron by 360 degree clockwise, the electron completes one full rotation and it looks that it reached its initial state. But actually, it still doesn't reach its initial state. It needs one more full rotation to reach its initial state. Because electrons are spin one half particles. Photon completes one full rotation and reaches its initial state. It doesn't need one more full rotation because it is spin one particle. This electron is not rotated and shows spin up state. Of course, it has 100% chance to pass upward direction while measuring this in Sten Galak device. And also, it has 0% chance to going downward. Both spin right and spin left are having 50% chances. It is in spin right state for 50% of the time and spin left state for another 50% of the time. Spin up state is the superposition of spin right and spin left states. Spin right state is the superposition of spin up and spin down state. It is in spin up state for 50% of the time and spin down state for the another 50% of the time. Spin down is something different. The superposition of spin down is amplitude of spin right state minus amplitude of spin left state. How does minus sign come here? Where does it come from? Let us rotate the electron by 90 degree clockwise and see the amplitude of all four states in each rotation. When we rotate the electron, the top portion is leaving the last spin left and spin up state and approaching spin right and spin down states. Leaving by 90 degree has to be subtracted 50% and approaching 90 degree has to be added 50% chances. Leaving will be continued up to negative 100% and will start approaching thereafter. Approaching will be continued up to positive 100% and will start leaving thereafter. Now, it is in spin up state which has 50% chance to spin left and 50% chance to spin right. If we rotate it by 90 degree clockwise, then the spin right will be 100% because it is being approached and spin left will be 0% because it is being left. Ok, let us rotate it by 90 degree clockwise. It is now in spin right state and has 100% chance for spin right. And of course, spin left must be 0%. Ok. What will happen if we rotate it again by 90 degree? Left will be leaving by 50%, right? So, 0 minus 50 returns negative 50. Yes, left state entered into negative state. And the superposition state also confirms the same. Hold on. Actually, it is approaching to left. So, 50 should be added here. Why it is told that it is leaving from left and subtracted 50? We have already seen that leaving state will be continuing until negative 100. It will be switched into approaching state once it reaches negative 100. If we rotate again it 90 degree clockwise, then it will be still leaving and spin left will be negative 100%. Yes, minus 50, minus 50 returns negative 100. Now, all possible non-zero amplitudes are in negative state. Even 360 degree rotation doesn't return back the initial state. Let us do one more full rotation and see.
finally it reaches the initial non negative state after the second full rotation so spin one half particles are only half the way in reaching initial state while being rotated by 360 degree spin one particles on the other hand are passing full way in reaching initial state while being rotated by 360 degree it reached the negative state in 180 degree rotation it reached the initial non negative state within one full rotation 